As divers continue to search for the bodies of three men beneath the wreckage of the Key Bridge, the families of all six victims are still grieving. There's a lot of help for them out there, but it can be hard to navigate the system. WMAR 2 News' Elizabeth Worthington shows us how the city has their backs. They came to the U.S. searching for the American dream. They died in the U.S. working to make all of our lives easier, filling potholes on a heavily traveled bridge. The six men who lost their lives when that bridge collapsed leave behind six families, some of them related. Four of the men were fathers. Many of those who passed away were the breadwinners of their homes. And so we really want to make sure that they don't have to worry about immediate needs. Almost immediately after the victims were identified, the world descended on their families. Governor Moore pleaded with the media to respect their privacy, saying police officers had to be stationed outside their homes. So many people and organizations wanted to help. All of the families are Latino immigrants. There's a language barrier, a cultural barrier. They were overwhelmed. The mayor's office of immigrant affairs or MEMA yeah, stepped in so that they could have somebody in their corner that could help them decipher the various services, resources, uh, programs and uh, public entities that were trying to connect with them. And lots of people here in Baltimore and beyond wanted to help financially too. MEMA started a fundraiser online. So far it's raised more than $600,000. What it is surprising is that it's come from over 5,000 people. The donations wow. have not been extremely large. They range from a dollar to $25 to $500. Um, so I think that makes it very encouraging. Um, it's also donations from across the country, so it's not just Maryland. The money will first help the families with immediate needs like rent and utilities. It's going directly to the six families and the two survivors. They're struggling too. As you can imagine, um, just a lot of trauma. The Mayor's Office of Immigrant Affairs is keeping that fundraiser open until the end of May. You can find a link to donate on our website, WMAR2news.com. In Baltimore, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR2news.